ECG imaging, ECG eye, is a non-invasive three-dimensional electrophysiology mapping using a 252 electrode system applied as a vest over the chest. Cardio Insight TM uses a single-use disposable multi-electrode mapping vest to acquire electrophysiological data from the body surface. It combines the surface ECG signals with computed tomography CT scan data to produce and display simultaneous 3D cardiac maps from all four cardiac chambers. The vest has three multi-electrode panels for front left, front right and back. Connectors from the electrode vest is connected to the cardio inside workstation. The chest is shaved and prepared with non-alcoholic hypoallergenic solution. The front left panel is applied first, followed by the front right panel and back panels. Panels are secured with medical tape. CT scan is done with vest on. Signals from the 252 electrodes are obtained and integrated with the CT data. Alternatively, the ECG data can be acquired first and CT images obtained shortly after. The workstation provides various types of maps including face map, composite map, potential map, activation map, propagation map, voltage map, slew rate map as well as virtual electrograms. ECGI constructs electrograms over the entire epicardial surface of the heart with high resolution. Local activation and recovery times can be determined from the electrograms. Activation recovery intervals, a measure of local action potential duration, can be computed from ECGI data. Activation isochron maps and repolarization pattern maps of the heart surface can be obtained non-invasively by ECGI. ECGI uses a standardized workflow and it has been suggested that signals should be checked manually to avoid automatic processing errors. Presence of local activation covering the arrhythmia cycle length confirms re-entry. QS pattern associated with centrifugal activation demonstrates focal breakthrough. ECGI helps us to understand the mechanism of cardiac arrhythmias which could guide catheter ablation. ECGI has been used to exclusively guide ablation of premature ventricular complexes. The utility of ECGI to map hemodynamically stable and unstable ventricular arrhythmias has been studied. In that study, simultaneous electroanatomic mapping CARTO Biosense Webster and ECGI Cardio Insight Metronic were done in 18 patients during catheter ablation of ventricular tachycardia VT. A total of 29 VTs were available for comparison. ECGI mapped VT sites of origin correctly with higher accuracy than a validated 12 lead ECG algorithm 83.3% versus 38.9 percent. It was shown that Cardio Insight localizes VT circuits with sufficient accuracy to provide a region of interest for targeting mapping for ablation. But the resolution was not enough to guide discrete radiofrequency lesion delivery by catheter ablation. The author suggested that the resolution may be sufficient to guide segmental ablation with stereotactic Radiotherapy. ECGI has been used to identify rotational activity non invasively that can be targeted during catheter ablation of atrial fibrillation. This has been used to predict procedural outcome in persistent and long standing persistent atrial fibrillation. Acute termination using rotational ablation guided by ECGI phase mapping could be achieved in a high percentage of both index and redo cases. Non-invasive electroanatomic mapping NIEAM cardio inside metronic can demonstrate patterns of depolarization 
that are useful in identifying the chamber of origin in outflow tract ventricular arrhythmias. But arrhythmia breakout and signal directionality had poor diagnostic value in predicting site of origin in outflow tract ventricular arrhythmias and underperformed compared to ECG interpretation 59.1% and 80.5%. After excluding instantaneous unipolar electrograms with poor characteristics, the instantaneous unipolar electrograms with most negative amplitude at the chamber of origin was predictive of the true site of origin with 96.4% sensitivity and specificity. First set of journal references Second set of journal references Third set of journal references. One more reference. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.